Hey everybody, Martin here with Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. And we have something pretty different in store for you guys. A little salvage to let you guys know where you might, may find some precious metals. And this one, clearly by the description, is about circuit breakers. And circuit breakers are absolutely pretty cool because... They're found all over the place by abundance. You can find broken ones inside your own home sitting in the circuit breaker box. And what's really cool about them is they're loaded with silver. Um, basically, all the contacts are silver. And I'm not sure if you knew that, but they're fr it's free silver. Pretty much very easy to get to. Um, if you're handy and you know what to do with your hands and you have some common sense, it's very easy to get to. So I'm going to show you what the silver looks like in the breaker, show you how to recover it, and maybe if we have enough time and this video is not too long, we could smelt a button. So um, every breaker is different. Every manufacturer makes them different, and it depends on where they're made, on the amount of silver that's absolutely in them. So I'm going to show you a couple of, uh, a couple of samples here. So these are all copper the connections, but the contacts, that contact right there, those circles, silver. These two circles, silver. Another circle, silver. So this is all one brand. This came out of one brand, just so you could tell how the manufacturer makes theirs. Now this is a big, it looks like a big button, but this is the one that has the least amount of silver because the way they did it is they filled in a copper button. So this is actually copper that has a melted button in it. Same here, um, let's see, you got these. It's also, co you, can, you can also reclaim the copper in there. Um, then you have this brand, which is pretty cool because there goes the tip, if I can get it to focus. There goes that button right there, but this whole piece is silver. So, no, not this one, I'm sorry. This one, so you can see the buttons right there, the contact. The knife, I get it to focus. So the contacts there and this whole piece is silver. So you get this whole piece absolutely with it, depending on the manufacturer. Um, there's more buttons here. They're on all of them. So I'm gonna show you a couple of um, examples of what you have to look for in the circuit breaker and how you get it out. So we'll start with a 10, a 10 amp. I have them already done. So in the 10 amp, there are little uh, punch, you know, little little screws. They're either the screws or the rivets. I just drill the rivets out, and this is what you'll have. Get the dust out of there. So this is a 10 amp, and right here on this one is a contact. So you can see the silver. Where's the other contact? Right there is the other contact. So this would hit whatever fell out, it's right here. <laughs> Sometimes these things are just jammed in there, but you can see it, it's right here. And there's probably two of them on here because it's a double 10. It is, there is. Oh, pretty cool, I've never seen one like this yet. So, back up. See the double circles on there? That's copper, I mean um, silver. And I'm not sure if this piece is silver. And what's good is, put it down over here, Move that out of the way. I use a neodymium neo dim, neo magnet, and yeah, look, it's not magnetic, so it may it may be all silver. And the other piece, like I said, would be right there. That little contact right there, that circle. I don't know why my phone's not. I think it's because this is on there. There you go. Yeah, there was a wire on there. See it right there. Now, these are pretty easy to take apart. All you gotta do is cut the copper cord to get it off. Now these copper cords that I just cut off, this apps this has silver in it too. So if you know how to do electrolysis, you can get a lot more cop uh, silver from this. And there's aluminum right here. This is aluminum. This is aluminum. This is aluminum. This is just metal. And you can actually do aluminum collection, like I did over here. I have a whole palm full of aluminum that I'm going to melt aluminum uh, rounds. So we saw that here. We'll take this piece off. 
we have the silver from here and where's the other piece right here now we have the same thing going on in here probably because I just took out the other connection yeah it's right there it's right there so we'll take that out cut the copper the copper cord <clears throat> okay that one's done we'll jump on to uh this is a 20 amp let's open it up and let's see I already pre-opened them up for you guys but I did not see what's in there all right so here goes the first contact right there these are GEs, and this GE was made in Costa Rica, actually. I'm going to empty some of this dust out of here. All right. Now, let's see what's on the other pole. I don't know what's in here. I'm trying to see myself. Okay, anything good? Nope. All right, so this is the other side of that, tw of that 20. And we have the contact here. And the contact right here, right there, connected on that one. So what we gotta do is just, like I said, cut the, cut, cut the cord and we'll move on from there. Hold on, let me close the door. People are fucking talking like they live, they're in an OTB. And the rest of this, like I said, this is aluminum. There's some aluminum on here. You can recover some copper. <laughs> If you know how to do electrolysis and electroplating and stuff like that, you, you could recover more silver. So we have that. Now we'll jump on to a double 30. A double 30 should be good since they're monstrosities. There you go. These double 30s are the one that have the full silver plating. So this whole thing is silver, which is pretty cool. So that actually has the most precious metals that I've seen out of all of them. And this one cord right here. This one right here. Ah, I don't know why you're not focusing. Hmm. Something is uh is catching its focus, but it's right there, the little button. So we got that. Anything else in here? Nope. So we're gonna open it up and go to the other side and collect uh, other the other silver out of it. Mm, still stuck. There you go. I like these because these are uh, these these connectors are full silver. So I got a nice little chunk out of them. And all you gotta do is, like I said, cut this cord, get this off. All right. Boom. Cut this, and there goes some more silver. All right. And we're done with this one. We are done. Let's get it out of here. Get these out of here. These are all cleaned. All right? Just making sure. Get that cleaned. And nope, not this one. This tiny thing here. Yeah. Done. Done. Done, 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 done. All right. So here is a hundred amp. So let's see what this hundred has. Should have a nice big one. Oh, look how chunky this one is. Wow. That's the biggest one I found so far. But hopefully the whole thing is silver like the other one is. I like these. And this one was made in Indonesia. Oh, there goes the other button. Popped right out. Wow, nice. Very nice. Let's see what the other connection is. It's got double. It's got double copper cords holding it. So this was def. It's a big one. It's 100 amp. So these are actually expensive in the store if you go out and buy them. All right, good there. All right, that's it. That's it on this one and on this one, same thing. Let's cut this off. Let's cut this off. Okay, you don't need this. This is this is aluminum right here to the connection. It does have some copper coating. I mean, um, silver coating on it. So, like I said, if you're good with electrolysis, um, and you know how to strip stuff off like that, you'll have a lot more silver. And we have one more 10 left, and right here is where the rivet is. You would have to drill them out. Very easy. You can actually just smash them. And this one has just a baby on there. It's right here. Cut it right here. 
and on the other one it just popped out here it is double because it's a double 10 and we're going to get out the other side right here we'll cut the cord cut the cord and that's it all right so now you'll see these are only these little things are magnetic oh we have magnetic something yes that mac it's the it's it's a spring that's stuck in there. Let's see if I can cut it off. Cut this off. All right. Anything on here? Nope. 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 Should be one more of those. Let's get this to find it. Oh. Okay. We know that's garbage. We know that's garbage. And that's it. That's it. So. Now that you've seen that, and we actually we got a pretty decent amount of silver out of these, so I'm going to show you how I get them out. So there's a couple of way to get a couple of ways to get the silver off of those clips. Um, you can use a butane torch, which I actually like. These these are really really easy and handy to uh, handle, um, easy to use and and everything. And I like these. Um, with this one, I ran out of triple distilled butane gas, and the gas I just bought for it isn't the strongest, so. Not really a big fan of it. Oh, the gas is too high. So I don't feel that the, it's hot enough. If you use a triple distilled gas, it's a lot stronger than that. And all you would do is, all you do is take the tip. You're not going to hold it, obviously. You get your hand burnt, and you do it like that. But I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's turn this off. Let's turn this off. I have myself a mini, um, a mini, a mini jeweler's torch with um, oxygen and map gas, and I like to use this because this is pretty instantaneous. And I have one right here that's already on there, so I'm going to get that one off. I'll show you how that works, and then it's pretty much easy. So I'm going to get off, I'm going to get off that one, and let's see. Actually, let's keep this one on. Let's take this. Let's take this one off. Let's put this back. Let's hang this up. Take this off. I don't want to use this one. We're gonna get off the real big one that I just recovered. Where is it? Where's the real big one? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, look at that. That's so nice. Let's get off these black clips because they're not silver. And if you want to test if anything here is silver, all you gotta do is use your silver test kit. Do a drip on it, and if it turns blue, then you know that it's silver coating, and underneath it is either either the brass or copper. So that's a way to test these pieces. So we're gonna test them, but I just want to show you how I get them off. Clip it. I'm all about getting free precious metals. So if it's free, it's for me. I'm not your normal pay dirt reviewer. I'm a, I'm a everything man. I like to do everything. All right, so let's get this started. All right, let's get it going. This thing gets really hot really fast. Like wants to melt it that fast. There you go. One button off. And it's that easy. Try one more. Get that button off. Let's let's absolutely set up first. <laughs> Alright, round two. Let's do this one. And I'll show you how easy it is. I mean if you don't have a torch, you can use any torch. I just like this one. This one was actually fit. I got this one for um, $30 on Amazon and it works awesome. Literally right off. It, it's a, it's a, you can weld with this thing. But I heard you run out of oxygen fast. I haven't run out of oxygen yet. So I don't know. But we'll do it one more time. Do it one more time. Let's see which one we can do. We'll do this one. All right. Hmm. 
Look at that. Right off. So, I'm going to finish this all up and then we're going to go melt something. But, what I wanted to say is, first you turn off the oxygen. Okay. Smartest thing. Turn off the oxygen. It's a really cute set. I'll show you what the other what I made. The little basket I made. So, I made a little basket for it. A little steel cage. A little basket. A little basket I had laying around that I found in the garbage. I just cut it up. So, what I wanted to say was, if you like watching my channel and um, you're very interested in it, or you're one of my Patreon members or my YouTube premium subscriber members, which I'm greatly appreciated for, being part of my YouTube channel or my subscriber base system, I'm going to give one of you guys away this beautiful precision kit set and I'll show you what it looks like open so it basically has all these precision non-magnetic stainless steel um, tweezers and it also has a nail puller a file and a chisel really really great kit really nice kit comes with a little pet pouch and bag you can close up I really, really like that kit. So I'm going to give somebody away this precision kit in this video. Um, doesn't matter who it is, but I'm going to let you guys get a chance. So basically what's going to happen here is if you're, over, if you're a YouTube premium member or a Patreon member and you obviously comment on this video because you got to comment, I'm going to give you guys double entries. So you have a benefit of being a premium member. So beyond that, let's melt the button. I'll be right back. All right. All right, so we pretty much cleaned everything up. And this is what I got. Let's weigh it up and let's see roughly what kind of little bar or button I'm gonna pour. We got 11, 11.209. Not too bad for free, old, thrown away breakers. I had about seven of them and I got 11 grams of gold out of seven breakers can't complain can't complain so you're going to see me melt a little button and that'll be it but I just wanted to show you guys there are precious metals in garbage silver especially silver so in the breakers you're going to find things like aluminum copper and silver so 11 grams of silver ain't too shabby. So I'm going to melt the button and then I'm going to be out of here. But don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to help the channel out, I have a join button under the subscription button. And there you can pledge and help the channel out to grow and do other things like this and get cool tools, you know, like the burners and the torch the acetylene torch and stuff like that a little map gas torch which was really cool i ran out of oxygen um i knew i would i was using it for the last couple of days but um i'm out of here so enjoy the little uh melt out and don't forget if you want to win yourself one of those precision tweezer sets comment come and comment as many times as you like um make sure you like your comment be a subscriber live in america and if you want to get double the entries, actually, comment only once. One comment per person. And if you want to get double the entries, um, join my either my Patreon or my subscriber link. And you also win a bag of free gold pay dirt with that. So I'm out of here. Enjoy the pour. And thanks for watching.
So, actually, if I could get it off here, it's stuck on my tweezer. <laughs> actually, there was gold in here. There was gold in these buttons. Now, a lot of these buttons didn't work. A lot of them I had to pull out. A lot of them I'm gonna pull, I had to pull out. So I'm gonna have to test all these little ones, all these buttons that were uh, for the connectors. They might have a high co uh, concentration of copper, or they might have gold, silver, copper, and brass. But if you can see what I see, that's gold on there. That's got gold, it's got a lot of flux on there. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna remelt this. But yeah, look at that. I'm gonna have to test this and let you guys know later on in the video. But thanks for watching, I'll see you guys soon.